What's next? That's the question tonight for a Clarksville tire shop destroyed by a fire on Sunday. News 2's Nikki McGee spoke with one shop owner now dealing with the loss of their business of 20 years. We spend 60 or 70 hours a week over here. Been here for 22 years. It's tough. <laughs> Owners of the wheel shop in Clarksville are still in shock after firefighters spent much of the day Sunday putting out flames at the business they built from the ground up. Uh, I just kept thinking that uh, they're going to get it pulled out, but it didn't. It, tires got on fire and five hours after that getting it put out. For Steve Ashby and his wife Cindy, the wheel shop was more than just a business. It's a big part of their love story. We raised our kids here, our grandkids, and now great grandkids. Not only did Steve and Cindy raise their children here, but they also helped out others along the way. Cindy recalling phone calls from parents with college students and young soldiers stationed at Fort Campbell. We get thank you notes all the time from different people out of town, out of state, that we've put tires on their kids' cars because they're at Austin P. And they're in this town, you know, they don't know anybody. The Ashbys aren't sure if they'll rebuild. However, Cindy knows her husband Steve isn't ready to throw in the towel yet. I like what I do. And we have a lot of good customers that's been loyal to us for the whole 22 years. So. A lot of them bought their first wheels when they was teenagers, and now they've got their kids as teenagers, and uh, now they're buying, so it's, it's, it's tough. The Ashbys hope to leave their business behind to their four sons, 11 grandchildren, and eventually their three great-grandchildren. However, they remain hopeful, thanking customers who have offered to help them rebuild. Everybody that comes in knows us, and we're all family to them, and we just love our customers. Hopefully we'll be back. Um, just love y'all. Three Clarksville Fire Rescue firefighters were treated at the hospital for minor injuries. The building is a total loss. Owners estimate they lost roughly $300,000 worth of inventory and equipment.